The night the stars came out, stars of the game and of the small screen, here to celebrate those who've shone in a glittering year of rugby league. And this was the game's opportunity to reward them for their efforts. It kicked off with a prize for one of the outstanding achievers of 2010. Anthony Seabold coached the South Wales Scorpions to a playoff appearance in their first year of competition. Certainly it's been a really pleasing year. It's been encouraging to, to work with such a good group of young blokes uh, down in South Wales. And Obviously uh, we had a very short time to prepare for the season but the, uh, the guys got together really well. And I think the most important thing that came up this year that we introduced 24 uh, born and bred Welsh players to professional rugby league. From the Championship 1 top coach to the Division's Young Player of the Year, Jared Stack of Workington Town. It was a chance to honour those who've excelled behind the scenes too. People like Johnny Presley of Keithley Cougars, who collected the Northern Star Award for his outstanding efforts in working with the Cougars Sporting Chance Initiative. Club of the Year went to Widnes Vikings. The Centurions were the community programme winners and Sheffield Eagles were the fair play champions. Back on the pitch, there was recognition for the conference competition too, with Huddersfield Underbanks Adam Ryder named Young Player of the Year, Dean Buckler of Kipax Coach of the Year, and Warrington Wizards Jono Smith Player of the Year. In Championship 1, that award went to the Hunslet player coach Paul March, but when it came to the Championship Player of the Year, a Featherstone win was guaranteed. All three nominations were Rovers players, and the ultimate winner, Liam Finn. I didn't expect it. Um... Yeah, obviously the three uh, nominees from Featherstone and uh, both top players have both played exceptionally well this year and I, to be fair I expected one of them to win it. Of course it's a big award but you're after a bigger prize aren't you this weekend? Yeah that's it, it's a, it's a team effort this week and uh, one more game to go, uh, hopefully we can do it. Players are the only hard workers on the pitch and Robert Hicks picked up the award for the referee of the year. Special recognition went to Tony Martin, a familiar face on the touchlines of rugby league from amateur to Super League level. He won the Neil Whitaker Trophy. Then to the gong for the Championship Coach of the Year. Three worthy nominations, but the prize went to the man who's led Featherstone Rovers to the top of the league and to this Sunday's grand final. How satisfying is it to be Coach of the Year? Oh, yeah, well, obviously it is, but it's more about the players than anything. You know, you try and put an environment in place and you try and help the players to get better and then they, they go and deliver so it's great to be involved in it but ultimately you know, it's the players, the way they go about things and they've been great this year. A night of triumph for Rovers but the big prize won't be handed out until Sunday night and fellow grand finalist Halifax no doubt plan to prevent a Featherstone clean sweep. <laughs>